Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Mary Grace Rice. And I'm Mitchell Riverall. Welcome to KQ2's Best of St. Joseph 2023. We are very excited. Finally here and tonight we're going to feature just a few winners chosen by you for some of the best local businesses. That's right. We begin with the food and drink category. Cabana's Grill taking home four first place awards this year. Joined by Jody from Pappy's Grill and Pub. Uh, Pappy's has won Best of St. Joseph finalist for Bar and Grill, as well as I'll go ahead and give that to you, Jody. As well as uh, Best of St. Joseph Tenderloin, a big accomplishment here in this town. But I think Pappy's has definitely earned it. So how how do you feel about winning these awards, Jody? We are super grateful to win such an award voted by our community. I want to thank every single one of you for voting for us continue business, continue to show up during COVID, during our downfalls. Thank you. Thank you for making us the best tenderloin and the best bar and tavern. We greatly appreciate you. That's awesome. So what do you think it is about Pappy's uh, that people keep coming back and they're voting for you? I think it's because they come in and it's a friendly face. Everybody knows your name. They love to come in. They love to see our same faces. We love to see the same faces. And it's just a, a great friendly environment for everybody to come to. Awesome. Well, Jody with Pappies, congratulations again and thanks thank for joining us. Thank you so much. Us. Thank you so much. Everybody, thank you. Thank you. It's thrilling because it doesn't come easily, and there are other people who could could be getting this award. So not only do we are we excited about it, but we want to thank everybody who voted for us because uh, we can't do it without them. Can't do it without the the guys and gals that work for us. So yeah, I'm, we're just really grateful. It feels super good. We have such a fun class, and uh, all the props go to the people that come to this class because they are the reason it is fun. Um, it is a fun-filled hour, and we just have a great time. Thank, Thank you for voting for Best Fitness Instructor. And now joining me is Erin with Upco. Thanks for joining. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I oh, no it. problem. And you, we have you here because you've won two categories of oh, Best wow. of St. Joe. Awesome. Your pet friendly business and pet supplies. I'll, I'll let you hold oh, on awesome. to one of holding on there thank so we can so show them both. So thank you. Um, just how does it feel? Um, actually, it feels great. We appreciate the support of our community. Um, we are super excited to represent St. Joe for 71 years, and we thank you guys for voting for us. Yeah, and I mean, two categories, two wins, that's pretty impressive. It that's is. a lot, lot you're taking home with you. So yeah, it's awesome. What would you like to say to those who voted for you? Um, thank you so much. We truly appreciate it. Um, we are super excited to be part of the St. Joseph community for 71 years now. Um, we appreciate your support and we like supporting you guys. So uh, definitely come out and see us. And if you have anything you need for your pets, definitely check us out. Well, thank you for joining. I'll, I'll hand this oh, to yeah. you. Is that you, is yours? Yeah. And congrats again on, on winning two categories. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. And thank you guys. Thanks, St. Joe, for voting us best mini golf and best family entertainment. We sure do appreciate you. here joined by Kai Turner and Rally with the St. Joseph Mustangs because they have won Best of St. Joseph local sports team. So Kyle, give that to you. Congratulations. And how are you feeling about this award today? 
Uh, you know, this is exciting. So it's nice. Uh, I know rally's always pretty exciting uh, uh, as, as a horse can be. But, you know, for us to have this opportunity to win, it just means a lot to us. Uh, we appreciate, obviously, you know, seeing people uh, in the stands every night. It's been a fantastic year. I know you've attended a few games this year, and uh, you've been out there having fun. Right, of course. Absolutely. And so for everyone to, to vote for us, I mean, you know, going against some of these teams, uh, to have the opportunity to win this award means a lot to us. So we really appreciate this. Thank you, guys. Right. And as you said, you had um, lots of fans. You had a great turnout. Opening night, uh, you broke your opening night record this year. Um, I know it's not overall fans, but how does that feel to you to know you have the community, thousands of people, and hundreds voting for you at local sports team? Uh, you know, just to keep being able to break records, you know, on and off the field has been awesome uh, in, in just so many different ways. Uh, you know, opening night was a great way. A lot of these guys, they hear about the experience in St. Joe, and uh, then they get to come and see it, and it just wows them, and it really sets, sets the stage for the future. And so, uh, you know, we'll make sure we let them know that, about this award, and I know they'll be uh, pumped, which is great because we're about halfway through our season, July 3rd, July 4th coming up, and it's a playoff push, and we're trying to get that fourth straight Mink League championship in a row. So uh, hopefully this will help us get over that hump. Yeah, hopefully it will. I'm sure it will. So Kai Turner and Rally with the Mustangs, thank you two for joining us again, and congratulations. Thanks. We'll see you there. All right. When we come back, we take a look at who won awards for community service, flooring, and home services. Welcome back to KQ2's Best of St. Joseph 2023. So far, we have seen the best tenderloin, car wash, pet supplies, pet friendly business, and local sports team. Now we'll see who was voted best community service. Joining me is Ruth from Grace House. Thanks for joining. My pleasure. Thank you for asking me. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> and I have an award for you. You're voted best of St. Joe 2023 community service slash humanitarian and this is the first time we've had this category so you are the first ever winner so i'll hand that to my you my goodness thank you very very much oh no problem and just what does it mean uh to you to to win this it basically means that um grace house is doing a good job in the community and we will be there 18 years in october and god is good and thanks to whoever voted. <laughs> yeah, and what, what would you say to those who, who went out there and made sure to vote for you? Thank you very, very much. Um, supporting Grace House is special to me. And so when people do something like this, it's quite meaningful. Thanks for coming in. And that's amazing. We can't wait to see that. And congrats again on winning the Best of St. Joe. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. No problem. because Eckerd's has won uh, Best of St. Joseph Carpet and Flooring, and I'll give these to you Yay. as I name them off, because you've got three of them. Also, Home Improvement Company, as well as Flooring my, Contractor my. here. So, um, that's three awards. How does, that, how does that feel that Eckerd's has these? Well, it feels like 60 years worth of working to get it. And, um, uh, I've, I've always enjoyed what I do. I've never lived more than four minutes from work. Uh, I come in late if somebody has to. I go in early. And then these days, uh, I show up at work less frequently. So it feels great, and I, I feel honored and kind of humbled to uh, be chosen in so many ways. Steve Eckert, thanks so much for joining us. And again, congratulations. Thank you. I'm humbled. Thanks to the public. Appreciate it. I'm 
joined with David Foster from Cherry Construction. David, thanks for joining. Hey, thanks for having me. No problem. Yeah. And congrats. I mean, you were voted Best of St. Joe 2023 Handyman, so I'll, I'll yeah. give that to you. Well, thank you. And just how does it feel? It feels great. I tell you what, it's been a great honor uh, to be so new and to win this award. We really do work hard on every single project. We'll continue to work hard and continue uh, to do the best job that we can do for St. Joe. Yeah. Got to say thank you to everybody in St. Joe who voted for us. Uh, Got to say thank you to all of our contractors and all of our workers for working hard every day. I just came uh, from remodeling the deck just a few minutes ago, so I got a little dust on my face. Uh, but that's what it's all about. We continue to work hard. We continue to work hard for St. Joe. And uh, we want you guys to be proud of us because we're proud of St. Joe. Thank you, David, for joining us, and congrats again on the award. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mitchell. Still ahead on this year's Best of St. Joe show, find out who took Best Furniture, Pharmacy, and Youth Group. Welcome back to KQ2's 2023 Best of St. Joe show. Mitchell has this year's winner of Best Furniture Store. And now joining me is Aaron from Colony House. Thanks for joining us. Mitchell, thank you for having us. Of course, and let's just get right into it. You guys have won Best of St. Joe in Mattress Store and Furniture Store. So I'll hand these to you and congrats on that. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Well, we want to thank all of the people of St. Joe that voted for us. We appreciate all the business. We thank you for all the years of business because of how long we have been here. Um, your, through your support, through all the different things that we've gone through, we just really appreciate this and are very thankful for it. Yeah, and just what does it mean? Um, I know you guys have won in the past, so what, what does it mean just to have that support and, and win these two awards? It's kind of it's neat that um, St. Joe recognizes this as a furniture store and a mattress store, both. Um, our, the guys that I work with try really hard to make sure that everybody feels special when they come in the store. And so obviously that's reflected in these awards. And again, we thank you guys for your support over the years and keeping our family and the families that we, that, um, we work with um, in business and, and keep us going every day. Yeah, and I know you kind of touched on it in the beginning, but what would you like to say to all those who voted for you? Uh, I'd just like to say thank you very much. We're very honored uh, to accept both of these on the behalf of the store and all the, all the people that make it work there. And we are just grateful beyond belief. Perfect, and I'll give you this second one now. I won't hold on to Alrighty. it. But yeah. Congrats on the awards and thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, Mitchell, I appreciate it. No problem. Have a great day. You too. Yep. And now we're joined by Phil Zwering. He's with Young Life Youth Group. Young Life has been voted uh, Best of St. Joseph for Youth Group. So, Phil, I'll go ahead and give that to you. That's yours to keep. Uh, you. How are you feeling about, about winning this? I feel good. I feel good. You know what? I'm just really grateful that we live in a town where um, there are lots of people who really support young people and um, they want to reach out to teenagers and uh, and do good things for the community. And so um, I really think of this as more of a representation of all of our community instead of just, just Young Life, but I'm grateful. Yeah, and that's a great point you made, is the community uh, does want to be invested mm -hmm. in these young people. Um, so what do you think it is about Young Life? What makes Young Life uh, special and why you think yeah. people decided to vote for you for this? Yeah, well, I think Young Life's been around in uh, St. Joe for about 70 years. And so I just think that there's a really long history of, of people that have come. And so my bet is that when po folks saw um, 
who was out there and what, what they would like to vote for, that there were a lot of folks who went, oh, I know what Young Life is, and so um, they voted for that. But um, it, we've just been around for a really long time. So Yeah, getting yeah. your name out there, and yeah. um, of course, I'm sure, a good reputation as well yeah. to get those votes. Uh, is there anything else you wanted to add, Phil? No, I just want to say thanks, thanks to the voters of St. Joe. Awesome. Thank you, and congratulations. Mm -hmm. Now joining me is Rex from Rogers Pharmacy. Thanks for joining. My pleasure. And today I'm giving you this award, voted best of St. Joe Pharmacy of 2023. So that one is for you. Oh, thank you, Mitchell. No problem. Appreciate that. It's always nice to be recognized, and um, we owe it to a great family of customers and some wonderful employees. They do, they do the most of the heavy lifting. Yeah, and just how does it feel to be voted just the best pharmacy in St. Joe? It's it's a wonderful feeling because we are an independent fighting a bunch of chain stores and it, to come out on top like this is great. It feels, feels wonderful. Yeah, and what do people get with you guys um, compared to others? Is it? I would like to hope it's more personalized services yeah. and we offer uh, more services as well, uh, medical equipment and things of that nature. And, and uh, we're always working to help folks find the most affordable way to be healthy, quite frankly. Yeah, and what is one thing that you would, or just a couple things if you want, what would you say to those who voted for you um, to, to win this? Oh, above, I, I want to thank our customers more than they need to thank us. We're very, very proud of what we've accomplished, but at the same time, couldn't have done it without, like I say, a loyal family of customers, and we do consider our customers as family. Perfect, well congrats again All on right. the award. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining. All right. And still ahead tonight, we announce the best local brewery as well as the best local band. Stay tuned. Welcome back. It's time to find out this year's best brewery or pub. Mary Grace has more. Well, now, please introduce Eddie from River Bluff Brewing. River Bluff has won best brewery in St. Joseph. So I'll go ahead and give awesome. that to you, Eddie. Uh, congratulations. Yeah, you should be proud of that. How, how are you feeling about winning that award? Uh, really good. You know, um, mostly feel great because our staff is amazing. And um, them and our customers, they work really well together in a weird way, you know, that uh, makes this atmosphere that's just perfect for people to enjoy themselves and have a wonderful night out in the town. So uh, it's always a pleasure to uh, win awards and get, uh, get recognition for our staff and our customers for sure. Yeah, definitely making it a place where people can feel pretty comfortable there. Um, so would you say that's the main reason why people kind of came out and supported you? Like, what is it about River Bluff that people are like, oh yeah, best of St. Joseph? You know, I, I, I honestly think it's our staff, you know, um, our staff in the back of the house makes some, some really, really good beers. Um, you know, you, it's kind of like Pringles. You can't, you can't just have one or whatever. Once you pop, you can't stop. But, uh, then the front of the house is very welcoming. They're really good at what, you know, we made suggestions and we hired them and they've, they've made us look like we didn't know what we were doing. They're just so good at what they do. They took everything to a next level up, and then our customers are great. So with them all working together, it's, uh, it's been a whole lot of fun, almost five years now. So wow. it's been really good, yes. That's awesome, almost five years, that's so cool. Is there anything else that you wanted to add, Eddie? Um, really, just uh, thanks a lot. Uh, we'll, keep, uh, we'll keep working hard for you guys. Keep uh, coming in, saying hello to, to our staff, and, and just keep having a good time. Awesome. Eddie, thanks so much for joining us no and problem. congratulations. Cheers. Thank you. And now joining me is Phil Vandal. Thank you for joining. Hey, thanks for having me. No problem. And you have been voted best of St. Joe for local band. And this isn't your first time winning no, this. No, with uh, 2016, 17, 18, 20, 21, and now 
23. I mean, it's it's just as humbling now as it was the first time. Well, you're racking them up. I'll give you this because awesome. this is yours. And um, just congrats on that. And Amazing. Th this is your sixth time. It is. It is. That's a, it's just, like I say, it's overwhelming to me. We've, we've been blessed to do a lot of things. In the last few years, we were inducted into the, the Kansas Music Hall of Fame in 2021. And uh, those types of things are statewide or even some of the national recognition is all important. But when you come home to feel appreciated and respected in your hometown, that's the hardest place to win people over because you're just one of them. And uh, so this is really important and special to me because of Well, perfect. And congrats again. And before I let you go, I think uh, we want to possibly hear a little bit from you. That would be great. Let's do it. All right. Sounds good. Thank you all. Thanks, guys. Now let's take a look at all of this year's winners. We'll have Phil take it away. Well, I learned how it should be from my mom and dad. Nearly 50 years together through all the good and bad. They grew closer when times got tough. And I want that love. You've seen it in the movies, but I've seen it in real life. That special kind of fire between a husband. Well, thanks so much for watching this year's Best of St. Joseph Awards. Mitchell, we had a lot of great local businesses out there well worthy of these awards. Yeah, it's just amazing to see everyone come in and get the awards. And a lot of first-time winners, a lot of yes. repeat winners. So it was amazing to see. And if you want to take a look at the full list, well, it's right here on KK2.com, our website. That's right. And, of course, thanks to all of you out there for voting and making your voice heard.